What we are remembering this year. In 2020, we pay tribute to the men and women of the Second World War generation and to those of today's who have served and sacrificed to defend our nation. We remember the collaboration of the Commonwealth and allied nations who stood shoulder to shoulder then to secure our freedom and the communities coming together today to protect us all. Grandpa, why do we celebrate Remembrance Day? We celebrate because we are thankful for the sacrifices made by men and women to make sure that we have freedom and democracy. From 1914 to 1918, World War I took a greater toll than any previous conflict, with some 8.5 million soldiers dead of battlefield injuries or disease. The Great War, as it was known, also ravaged the landscape of Western Europe, where most of the fierce fighting took place. From the devastated landscape of the battlefields, the red poppy would grow, and thanks to a famous poem, became a powerful symbol of remembrance. Across northern France and Flanders, and northern Belgium, the brutal clashes between Allied and Central Powers tore up the fields and the forests, tearing up trees and plants and wreaking havoc on the soil beneath. But in the warm early spring of 1915, bright red flowers began peeking through the battle-scarred land. But why do we use the poppy as the symbol of remembrance? Because the poppy was the only flower that seemed to grow on the battlefields ravaged by war and so it was used to remember all servicemen and women through many conflicts, not just World War I and World War II. Lieutenant Colonel John McCrae, a Canadian who served as a brigade surgeon, spotted a cluster of poppies shortly after the Second Battle of Ypres in 1915. McCrae attended to the wounded and got a first-hand look at the carnage of that clash in which the Germans unleashed lethal chlorine gas for the first time in the war. Some 87,000 Allied soldiers were killed, wounded or went missing in the battle, as well as 37,000 on the German side. A friend of McCrae's, Lieutenant Alexis Helmer, was among the dead. Struck by the sight of bright red blooms on broken ground, McCrae wrote a poem in Flanders Field, in which he channelled the voice of the fallen soldiers buried under those hardy poppies. By the 1920s, the poppy had been adopted as a symbol of remembrance for those who made the ultimate sacrifice. But it didn't just stand for those who'd fallen on the muddy battlefields of France and Belgium. In ocean wastes, no poppies blow, no crosses stand in ordered row. Their young hearts sleep beneath the wave, the spirited, the good, the brave. But stars a constant vigil keep for them who lie beneath the deep. It is true you cannot kneel in prayer on certain spots and think he's there. But you can to the ocean go, see white caps marching row on row. No one for him will always ride, in and out with every tide. And when your span of life is past, he'll meet you at the captain's mast. And they who mourn on distant shore for sailors who'll come home no more can dry their tears and pray for these who rest beneath the heaving seas for stars that shine and winds that blow and white caps marching row on row and they can never lonely be for when they lived they chose the sea In, in 2020, we celebrate VE Day and VG Day. What are those days for?
Sunday morning at 2.41 a.m. at General Eisenhower's headquarters, General Jodl signed the act of unconditional surrender of all German land, sea, and air forces in Europe to the Allied Expeditionary Force and simultaneously to the Soviet High Command. The German war is therefore at an end. But let us not forget for a moment the toils and efforts that lie ahead. Japan, with all her treachery and greed, remains unsubdued. Advance Britannia. Long live the cause of freedom. God save the king. to thank and support the NHS during our battle against COVID. If we want to look to a symbol of sacrifice and struggle now, then we have the rainbow of the NHS. Remembrance is about everyone who is giving something or have given their life for a cause. A lot of people now consider remembrance to be an outdated idea as fewer people who lived through the wars are still here. Without the sacrifice of those who lived through the First and Second World Wars, we wouldn't have democracy, freedom of speech, or the NHS. Remembrance Day for me is a very poignant day, as, as I remember a former pupil of mine, Robert McLaren, who I taught in Oban High School, who fought in Afghanistan and unfortunately um, died at the age of 20. Robert was a fantastic footballer when he was in Oban High School and in fact his team won the Scottish Schools uh, Cup in under 15 and under 16 level. And Robert was a fantastic footballer um, as part of that team. But he gave up his life fighting for others. Um, and sadly, as I said, he died at the age of 20. Um, that's a young age to die. Um, so, um, as I say, it's a very poignant day for me and I look back on it and always remember um, Robert very, very fondly. I'm not a badge of honour. I'm not a racist mirror. I'm not a fashion statement to be worn but once a year. I'm not glorification of conflict or of war. I'm not a paper ornament, a token. I am more. I am a loving memory of a father or a son, 
a permanent reminder of each and every one. I am paper or enamel, old or shining new, I'm a way of saying thank you to every one of you. I am a simple poppy, a reminder to you all, that courage, faith and honour will stand where heroes fall. What does the poppy represent as a historical symbol? To me, it was uh, originally brought out after the First World War in the 20s, and it was a charitable symbol uh, initially to look after um, the families that had been left behind. Um, it's now come to mean something far greater than that, and it's remembering those that served, but mainly uh, those that have died in all the conflicts since um, the First World War. Why do you think the poppy is an important symbol for our veterans? For the veterans, it's, it's a badge of pride. It means I've served, uh, I've lost friends, uh, some people won't come home. It's us remembering. It's them thinking back to times on the battlefield when there was death, destruction, strawberry jam everywhere. Uh, you have to fight through that kind of thing. And for them, it's pride. From your own experiences in the services, what does the poppy mean to you? Uh, I can sum that up in one word. Um, it means friends. It means friends that I know I will never see again. Uh, and that's why I wear it. Why is the poppy such an important symbol today? It's important because it represents no one and it represents everyone. It's not political, it's not religious. Um, you can wear a poppy or you don't have to wear a poppy. There are purple poppies, there are white poppies, there are all shades of poppies. Um, it just shows that you remember what people have sacrificed in the past uh, for your ability to choose whether to wear a poppy or not. It's, um, I think it was Woodrow Wilson said, people sleep at night because there are rough men prepared to do violence on your behalf. It's you thanking people for their service. But more importantly, remembering those that have died and have gone before. Thank you.